Hi, I'm Keith McCullough. Welcome back. I want to talk about what's really going on in the marketplace, and again, in the macro marketplace, which obviously considers many more things than just U.S. stocks. So I want to talk about currencies, I want to talk about volumes, I want to talk about bonds. First, let's go to the volume. Volume, unbelievably, nauseously low yesterday. So what we're looking for here, again, in terms of a nasty risk signal, is an up market move. The S&P was up like, I don't know, 20 basis points. But versus the one month average, the total equity market volume in the US was down 26% yesterday, which is brutal. And what's even more brutal is versus the three month average, it was down 40%, 40% yesterday. This is incredible. It was the lowest volume day for a Monday other than Easter Monday. And just newsflash, this weekend wasn't Easter. I don't know what's going on, maybe it's the weather. As soon as the weather comes back, nobody goes to work. I mean, there's a lot going on here, I tell you. Uh, but again, what's also going on is that inflation continues to accelerate in the face of consensus, predominantly uh, really Washington consensus, and the Fed and this whole unelected body telling you that there's no inflation when we're hitting the all-time highs and things like, obviously, rent and food. Look at food yesterday. Wheat, up 2%. Corn, up 2%. Coffee, again. Coffee, you don't drink coffee, up 77% year to date? Ay, 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 I mean, this stuff is crazy. Uh, what's also crazy is people not talking about the purchasing power of the people. Now, again, if you have a green back in your pocket, you can look at it. If you use credit cards, you can kind of try this in a different way. But the reality is that the purchasing power of people is measured in the local currency. So again, you can see the chart of the US dollar index I know you've been seeing this on TV all day long. I'm sure you're gonna read it in the newspaper all over the place tomorrow that the US currency is hitting a fresh year-to-date low, okay? If this was any other planet, I wouldn't be considered crazy. So again, this is bad. You take that plus the nastiest chart that I can show you today, which I don't incidentally have uh, for this video, which is home prices in the US just dropped significantly month over month in April this is the core logic data. And then finally, this thing called the bond market? Bond market, yeah, you know the thing that signals when US growth is either accelerating like we signaled last year and now slowing this year? It's still testing its year-to-date lows on the 10-year bond yield. In other words, if you're long bonds, you're long sl slow growth. And if you're long slow growth, you probably believe that inflation slows growth, which is why I'm your new best friend. So if you have any questions on that, I'm at Keith McCullough. That's my Twitter handle.